Hey everyone, we have the CNM 301. 301. Looks like it's got the standard 2CN on there. Would be nice to get some foreign powers around again, but we haven't for the last year. Very, very, very seldom. Since they switched last year, they're just using pretty much only two CNs or only two locos on every train. Uh, as pretty much uh, on almost every train, uh, they it's, we don't see one tenth the amount of foreign powers, if that. Almost everyone is two CN. Get the odd three. We just don't see the variety like we used to. Partially because they've been switching to all the AC or converting them or whatever they're doing. <coughs> they only need the two locos, so we're not seeing all the extra locos and that also means no more foreign powers, or at least super rare anyway. I haven't seen a BNSF or UP in, since fall for several months. I saw the Kansas City Southern but the other day, but technically that's not foreign power anymore, that's CP. So that's technically Canada as well, so... But it is a foreign power locomotive. I still like to call it that. Because it's still Kansas City 7. this train, not necessarily foreign country. Foreign to this train, or foreign to CN, then technically CB, CP can be a foreign power. Even though it's not foreign country, it's it's not native just to the CN rail.
the character. All right, hey all, we got a train coming from Michigan. Battery's a little low, so hopefully I can get the whole train. I didn't bring any extra batteries. Just here with a friend. Probably 492. Because of the empty truck frames, we move over here to get, try to get away from some of that glare. First train I've gotten in about six days, but I will get a bunch over the next few days. It's gonna be nice. <coughs> in pretty weird weather. It was 60s there for a few days, and then it's uh, today uh, it snowed a lot of the day. It was only about zero or one degree, and tomorrow's supposed to be 50, and then it's supposed to be 60 the next day, and day or two after that. And then a couple of days of cold and snow again. And it's weird that we had in the 70s just a week or two ago and uh, back in February we had uh, low 70s. I think that was our hottest day ever in February for being here in Canada and at 70 in February. It was 72 or 73. Sorry, that's American. Uh, uh, for the rest of the world, it was uh, 23 degrees. 22, 23, 23 Celsius. Sometimes I say temperature in the old style for the American. But I do got to realize that uh, only about 10 or 20 percent of my viewers are American. And I'm not even from the state, so why I'm using the old American terms, I don't know. Habit sometimes, I'm older, so when I was little, we used that, but it was uh, 40 years ago that we switched over to the modern measurement. The only ones that hasn't so far left is the states. Some countries are only partially switched, but uh, our metric, they just still use sometimes the old system. I know I think in the UK they're mostly uh, metric, but their speed limits are still posted in miles per hour, so ours are not. They haven't been since I was, ever since I've been driving. They were in the 70s and early 80s, that's it.
do want to love to get some more traveling in to get trains in other places I'd love to even go over to like Europe or Asia or Australia and get trucks trains ships but I don't want to go to any countries that are uh, a really high crime rate like anything like a murder rate anything over two I'd rather stay away from or two rating out of a hundred thousand but the only exception with that is of course the states they're way higher than two they're one of the highest in the world for bigger countries they are i think the highest other than a couple little small little little uh uh drug-ridden countries or whatever it is but uh yeah the states is the only exception with that the states is close and it's it's a good size so it has to be an exception i think they're about six on the scale which is one of the highest canada i think is uh we used to be under one but i think we're a tad over one now not sure i forget during covid every, everywhere kind of went up a bit around states and canada but i think we're starting to drop it again so were we always usually about the 0.5? Which is in the lower ratings. Alright, here comes our end. But I do go to the States like... Uh, well, lately, but once every couple weeks, so... When summer comes, a lot more often. Again, should be good. All right, made her without dying. I believe this is the 397 M397 coming up kind of slow here on track one and from what I've read on Facebook this sh might have the first foreign power I've seen through here since pretty much fall so several months not that it hasn't been the only one, but it's the first one that I've caught or will catch. It's really coming up abnormally slow for track one. Oh, I'm going to move right over here to get out of that glare. There we go. Let's hope it's still on it. Or it is that one. First UP I've gotten since summer. Just notice 
with the lights in here in the VF station and they got two brand new vending machines in there with all digital screens here but the thing is the station's never open it's only open an hour when the train comes in the morning or when the train leaves in the morning and when it comes back but nobody goes in it not on the way out anyway but in the morning I'm sure they probably do but Pretty nice though. They're M and M machines, but they're all digital. Big screen. And two of them. I don't know why they need two of them. I don't think anything. Anybody's bought anything off the one. They're both M and M machines. The one that was in there, the. The drink machine it just had water in it, and I don't think anybody gotten anything out of it in a while. Who knows? Just the station's never open, so very seldom. Get out of that glare again, but I gotta keep an eye on my other camera. We are in the south end of the city here, so. Sun's already gone down. It's been pretty dead here today. It's only the second train. There's about one third, one quarter of what we normally get for the hours I've been here. Uh, we've been here about probably five hours, maybe six, five, yeah. It is the slow time of the day though, afternoon and early evening, the slow time. Probably busiest in the early morning and late evening and into the night. But usually from daylight to, well from sun up to sun down, there's usually this time of the year, there should be, I don't know, eight to 10 trains. Just not today, unless there were all in the morning. None of the regulars went by, other than this one and 49, like 301 and, uh, yeah, 301 and uh, 397, that's it. 492's been sitting over there for hours. I don't know what it's doing. We are here in Sarnia at the Via Station. We have the 491491M. Oh, sorry. Uh, A491. Probably standard 2CN.
standards again. Well, one's an old city rail, which is at least a little different. But the last train I got had a UP on it. And that's the first foreign power I've seen in months. And look at that, right behind. Can't see it there, but there you can. There's another train going behind it the other way. Or, no, it was just two locomotives. Yard, yard locos for our center. I knew what this train had on it for lead already because I seen the uh, they pulled up when they were making the train. They quite often this train and uh, 491 and 385 and 383 quite often will pull up all the way up to these lights down there when they're making a train back in the yard. One of those really loud cars. Almost sounds like another locomotive. And these ones are quiet. It would be nice to get some like, nice good cartoon character art. I so wish they didn't get rid of them all. Or most. Like I said in the last video, if you're watching this, these back to back in a long video, I wish they haven't been eliminating them all and just leaving the tag art. Don't know why they get rid of the good stuff. We're, we've got about one tenth this year of what we had last year and the year before and the year before and four. And I've been doing this now for I think five years. And it's way less of it. I was talking to another rail fanner guy down here who was doing pictures and he said, yeah, you just don't see it anymore. You see some, but it's nowhere near like what it was. We used to get a few of them every train. Now it's one every so many trains. bit more on the auto rack trains though because there are auto racks you see more graffiti these aren't bad but gotta turn around every now and then keep an eye on my other camera but they're quiet. Those light bluey ones are off-white. Should have chuck frames near the end of this. Usually.
Got a train coming from the tunnel. I don't know what train it is though. Yeah, I'm assuming it's probably track two. Because track one, I'll back up. Still behind the yellow line, but track two. think they can do whatever they want. tide here so I keep an eye on where my vehicle is over here. trains all day. I wanted to go get some trucks as well, but I had to wait around at home for a friend's package to come. So I missed out on this afternoon. That's all good. I 
get bored in a couple hours and come back after Via and uh, get it in a really busy time which is usually after 10 or 11 but I wanted more day trains and got too many night trains right now but it is good light here with this camera not with my other camera over here it's, it's a smaller Canon and it's a much smaller lens on it and it's like half as light as this if that but still good enough. This building's got really good light on it now. Via did a great job of putting the new lighting on this building here and it's really good. cartoon art or character art today at all but that's been the thing lately most of the really good cartoon character art's gone they've either gotten rid of it or I don't know what they did but today's trains there should have been probably 10 of them small stuff small good cartoon art but okay